Blue skies, no clouds, that's why it's always hot in Texas. In other words, the perfect spot to check out one of the hottest new cars in the compact segment, the Dodge Dart. Well, I think it starts with the platform itself. We touched upon the DNA of an Alfa Romeo, so really when you're behind the wheel, you get that steering feedback, that fun to drive aspect that I think is missing in some compact cars these days. Then you shift over into the powertrains. We've got a great powertrain story, ranging from 160 horsepower with our 2.0 up to 184 horsepower in the RT. And then a sweet spot right in the middle is our 1.4 multi-air turbo with 184 pound-feet of torque. You can get it with a manual or an automatic, a lot of fun to drive. And then it's a customization on this car is phenomenal. Um, there's over 100,000 different ways that you can really personalize and configure this vehicle, you know, ranging from six different wheel choices, 14 different interior color and trim combinations, 12 exterior colors. So I think that brings a lot of fun and spirit back into the compact sedan market. One of the things that sets the Dart apart from its competition is its interior. In fact, it's already been named one of Ward's best interiors, and it's not even on sale until June. Um, some of the key features are um, soft touch surfaces um, all throughout the cabin um, and not just on the premium models. Um, we basically have soft IP, soft door armrest, console armrest, soft uh, instrument panel, top brow um, on every single price class, which is, which is astonishing, I think, for this type of segment. Um, one of the other big things is technology. Technology is huge. Um, we have two class exclusive features in our 8.4 inch Uconnect system, um, which is in the center. And then we have our uh, TFT thin film transistor um, LED cluster that is basically a seven inch large TFT cluster um, that's reconfigurable, customizable, um, and that's found right in that instrument cluster display. Um, so those are huge technology features. We also have a lot of ambient lighting and tons of storage uh, on the interior. So as you heard, there will be three engines available for the Dart. We were able to drive the 2.0-liter and the 1.4-liter. The 2.0-liter with an automatic was a little sluggish at times going up hills, but overall it was okay. And the 1.4-liter with a manual was much better. But that wraps up our short look at the Dart. I'll have a deeper dive into it in an upcoming Autoline Daily. In Albert, Texas, I'm Seamus McElroy. Yeah, you know, we still haven't driven all the powertrain permutations in the dart, so we're going to have to reserve our final judgment until we do. But right now, I would rate the dart as a better car than the Elantra, Civic, and Corolla, but maybe not quite as good as the Chevy Cruze or Ford Focus. Clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Why? Higher take rates, lower cost of ownership, longer range and better fuel mileage, lower CO2 emissions. Clean diesel, good, economical, functional. Bosch, invented for life.